Last week, Russia announced they would be leaving the International Space Station in 2024. But they later backtracked on the abrupt departure. But tensions between the Russian agency Roscosmos and NASA are kind of the new norm, actually. Russia now says it will leave the ISS once they launch modules for a space station of their own. That could come as soon as 2028. Meanwhile, NASA maintains they are committed to the ISS operations through 2030. For more on this, we are joined by Derek Pitts. He is the chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Look at that smile. He also has served as a NASA Solar System Ambassador since, nine, since 2009. Did I get it all right? Yes, you got it right on the head. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, sir. So collaboration Thank on you. the ISS used to remain independent of like whatever international politics was going on. And now you got this, hey, we're pulling out what we might say. I mean, how, how worried are you and why? Well, you have to split this up into two things. First of all, they're the astronauts on board in the National Space Station that are working cooperatively with all of the other international partners in space. And so, you know, th these kind of political wranglings don't really affect operations on board International Space Station. What you have, though, is the administrator of Roscosmos who is making these statements. And this kind of what I refer to as saber rattling has been happening ever since the United States began to support Ukraine. And so uh, in this recent conflict, so we've heard this, as you mentioned before, several times before. Here's my concern about this. What's really going to happen here is, or what could happen is that Russia is trying to position itself as still being one of the major space powers, if you will. If, in, if they were to leave International Space Station without a plan for their own space station, they'd find themselves in a distant third right. in terms of space occupation behind the United States and China. Yeah. So they really want to make sure, if they leave the station, that they have something, because otherwise, they don't really have much of a space game. So without International Space Station, all they have is some launch capability and some satellites. Hmm. Well, Derek, you know, when many people think of the space race, it's all about like, well, let's have this goal of put a man on the moon, right? But what competition is there now between the U.S. and Russia? Well, that's a really interesting question uh, in that what Russia has been doing recently has been providing the launch capability to carry astronauts to International Space Station since the United States uh, ended its space shuttle program in 2011. So they've been our major taxi ride, if you will, to space station. But now we have other alternatives for that. So Russia needs to find some way to make itself, you know, really a viable power here. So if we think about what that competition is between the two nowadays, it would be Russia trying to catch up to the United States, which already has an established space station. And then what they may want to think about the possibility of is thinking about going further in space, like maybe trying to go to the moon or going on to Mars. And they've had really terrible luck at trying to get any kind of spacecraft landed on Mars at all. Derek, going forward, do you think we're going to see NASA contract more operations with private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin? I really do think this is the era in which NASA realizes that there are other viable options for them in terms of outsourcing some of the, some of the work that gets done. So, for example, launching stuff to International Space Station, like resupplies and carrying astronauts and things like that. That's really easy work. Almost anybody can do that. So SpaceX and other companies like that can pick that work up. But NASA really needs to focus itself on the big sort of exploration missions, like going to the moon and going on to Mars, those really big, high concept things. Right. And, you know, these other companies can pick up the slack quite easily. Just love talking to you, Derek Pitts. We appreciate you I being know, here. I know, right? Yeah. Thanks, a smile, Derek. a smile to his knowledge, I just... Learned a lot. Thank you so much. Indeed. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Lots of fun in space. <laughs>